So God is very wise. He built into everything laws to guarantee its success. <laughs> That's why God told Joshua, if you take my laws, read my laws, memorize my laws, obey my laws, accept my laws, submit to my laws, you shall have good success. Can I suggest something to you? When you discover the laws of God, you don't need to pray. Oh, look at you. You don't understand what I just said. <clears throat> the car that you bought was made by a manufacturer. The manufacturer built into the car the laws for function. You don't need to pray about what to put in your gasoline tank. It's a law. The manufacturer says, you shall use unleaded gasoline only. He didn't ask your permission. He built the law into the car. And when it comes to you, it comes with the laws built in. Now if you decide you like orange juice, and you're going to put orange juice in your car because you like orange juice, then the car malfunctions. In other words, you don't bring your laws to God. You submit to the laws of the manufacturer and it guarantees success. Therefore, God has designed everything to function by laws. And this is why I want to take home this, write this down. Laws were given to guarantee success. Laws were not given to restrict you. When God says, do not fornicate, that's a law. That means don't have sex until you are married. Now, it's amazing. God doesn't explain it. <laughs> Manufacturers don't explain laws. They just announce them. For example, the manufacturer says when you buy an iron, it says, do not operate near water. They don't tell you why. <laughs> oh, come on, you're smart. They will never say, if you operate by water, you will die from shock. They just says, do not operate near water. Some of you test the manufacturer's law. That's why you lost your hair. God designed the fish to be in water. That's a law. Fish will never leave water. They are smarter than humans. <laughs> Birds were designed to fly in the air. They will never try to become fish. If you put a seed on the ground on a tiled floor in the lobby and leave it there for 50 years, it will remain a seed. Why? You disobeyed the law of the seed. It needs soil and moisture. Humans are the only creatures God got problems with. We are the only ones who will test the law. Test the law to see if it's true. That's why you're broke, divorced, and sick. But I declare, every human under the sound of my voice are going to submit to the laws of God from this night forward. And God says, you shall have good success. Give him a hand for success. Oh, come on, give him praise.
success, write this down, is a result of decisions. Whatever you are right now, you decided to become. Don't you blame anyone for your predicament right now. Success is a result of decisions. Write this down, please. Failure in life is a result of decisions. Whatever you decide determines your destiny. In other words, everyone becomes what they decide to be. I decided to be successful, so I decided not to smoke. Because when I wrote my vision on paper at age 14, I saw my vision. I wrote it on paper. I want to travel around the world. I want to build buildings. I want to bring an educational system into the world. I want to own my own aircraft. I want to become a counselor. I want to become a consultant to countries. I wrote it down. I want to be an advisor to governments. At age 14, I wrote that down. So I knew if I start taking drugs, having sex, and drinking alcohol, the alcohol will kill my liver, the smoke will destroy my lungs, and the sex will give me a baby I can't pay for. So my vision determined my discipline. Say it with me. Vision determines discipline. If you don't know where you're going, you'll do anything with your life. Purpose brings discipline. I had so many women that tried to have sex with me because I'm a good looking brother. When I was 17 years old, I was producing music that became the number one hit songs in our country. Every station was playing our music. At 17, we were the most famous group in the whole country. And we had concerts packed with kids, thousands of them. And the girls would come on the front row because we were all handsome brothers. And they would try to talk to us afterwards and get us to take them out and take them in their cars and have sex with us. And I would say to them, the minute you ask me for sex, you are no longer my friend. Why? You are a distraction and a demon. <laughs> Write this down. A true friend is one who can help you get to your destiny. I'm going to say it again. A true friend is anyone who will help you get to your destiny. So if anyone wants you to do anything that stops you from your destiny, that's not a friend, that's an enemy. Decisions determine success. So when I got married to my wife at age 25, I was a virgin, so was my wife. Let me tell you young people why God says don't fornicate. Here's why. Write it down. So that you will enjoy your memories. God wants you to live your whole life with good memories, not regrets. So he protects you by giving you laws to protect your memory. And there's some of you in this room right now, your memories are tragic. If you obey God, you'll never have a bad memory. 